Ready for another clean in with me and Christmas decorate? Let's get to it. Jana's bathroom is always such a mess. Let's get this tidied up and decorated for Christmas. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Kayla. I'm a busy homeschooling mama of two. I'm married to my husband Josh for 12 years. On this channel, you'll see tips and tricks for cleaning and homemaking, decoration, inspiration, and motivation, and cleaning, inspiration, and motivation. I hope that something on this channel touches you and helps you to make your home a better place. gathered up all the trash and taken the laundry to the laundry room to be done and now I'm gonna start with one of my favorite cleaners the pink stuff spray cleaner it is wonderful for all the surfaces in your bathroom it literally eats the soap scum right up so easy to use I will link that in my description box below I wipe down the countertop, the sink, the sink fixtures, and the front of the vanity. And the last thing I'm going to wipe down is the outside of the toilet. And then that immediately goes into the laundry. Anytime anything touches the toilet, it immediately goes like gone. I don't want to spread those germs around in my bathroom. So I never touch anything that touches the toilet twice with anything else. This mirror really wasn't very dirty, but I went ahead and used my Sprayway Glass Cleaner and my Glass Cleaning E-Cloth to wipe it down. I'm going to link both of those products in my description box below because you know if you've been here more than once that those two are my favorite go-to products. That didn't take very long at all, and now I'm going to do my very favorite part of any cleaning, and that is using my Tinco iFloor 2 to mop and vacuum the floors. It is so crucial that you have a gadget like this one it literally cuts my cleaning time down by over half if your hubby's asked you what you want for christmas add that to your list it will definitely change your life for the better i keep this basket with a few rows of toilet paper on the back of the toilet all the time that way you never run out in here. Because this is our middle bathroom or our hallway bathroom, it's the bathroom that guests typically use. You never wanna leave anybody stranded. After putting everything back, I went in the dining room and gathered up all the things that I think I'm going to use in this bathroom. Some of them I'll use and some of them I won't. Or maybe I do use it all, I can't remember. Anyway, so I gathered up my things and I've brought them in this bathroom and now I'm going to try to get this bathroom decorated. I don't know why, but for some reason I had a harder time decorating this year. It was just... I don't know, I just felt pressured to put everything in the right spot. I finally had to take a step back, take a big deep breath, and remember that I'm doing this for myself and for my family.
sure you guys are looking at these signs and thinking, I thought she said she was going to do a collage wall with those. Well, I was going to, but I really could not put them together in a place that I just loved. And I didn't want to add a bunch of extra holes and things to my wall. I thought about doing um, the Velcro command strips. However, the wall in, that I wanted to do the collage wall on is heavily textured. It's in my living room, and so that really wouldn't work for me. So I ended up separating them out and putting them in different places in my house, the signs, and they turned out beautifully. I swapped out my pumpkin waffle candle from Bath & Body Works for this butterscotch candle from Bath & Body Works. It smells so wonderful, it's warm and inviting, it smells just like Christmas. I'll link that below in the description box. The middle bathroom turned out wonderful. It looks so cozy and calm and inviting. The only thing that I may change is I think I may get a red towel to hang on our towel hook over there in the corner. Ooh, or a really dark green one. That would be pretty. Okay, on into the kitchen. I always put um, greenery on the top of my cabinets that's been intertwined with twinkle lights that are battery operated and set on a timer, which I love. They all come with remote controls and you can select your setting and then it comes on at the same time and goes off at the same time every evening and I love. Now you will see that I had to have assistance with these countertops and cabinet tops. Not the countertops actually at all. I did the counters all by myself, but the cabinets I had to have assistance and boy was that an adventure. I'm thankful that I have two girls that like to help me decorate because it was hard and it was a mess. The twinkle lights that I got and I use, I got off of Amazon. I will try to find a link for them and put it in the description box below because they are a game changer when it comes to having that cozy, twinkly light vibe for your Christmas decorations. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is where the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. 
Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing When December is when the children are singing, yeah It's Merry Christmas, baby Okay, I'm just gonna use my Lysol all-purpose spray, the lemon scent, to wipe down my countertops right now. We are having a terrible problem with ladybugs right now. I'm pretty sure it's because the weather is bouncing back and forth between cold and hot. Well, not really cold, but like cooler weather and hot weather. And so the ladybugs are coming from who knows where, but they say that lemon scented things drive them away. So I've been trying to use lemon cleaner whenever I can. Okay, now I'm going to move everything off of this countertop, spray it down with the same cleaner, and put everything back where it goes before I decorate over here. I'm using the same lemon cleaner, trying to deter the ladybugs, which really they're not in my kitchen. They're actually more in my living room. I think because that's like the brightest, warmest room in our house, maybe. I don't really know. I'm not a ladybug expert. But anyways, did you notice that little jar with the orange cloth on top? That's my sourdough starter, you guys. It's doing so good. I actually made my first loaf of bread this week. Okay, well, I actually made two loaves of bread, but one loaf of bread didn't turn out like a loaf of bread at all. Like, it did not rise. It, it, it didn't even bake, you guys. It was like white and dense and heavy. Couldn't even cut it. It was terrible, but I loved the one that turned out. I loved that. Now, no one else in my family loved it, but I loved it. You see those three ingredients sitting right there? One of them in that jar is like the remnants of um, vanilla bean honey, and then there's like a honey crisp apple and a lemon. Later on, I'm gonna cut that up and put it in a pot on my stove and make a simmer pot for my house so that it'll smell good. I don't actually have that in video, but if that's something you think you would like to see how I put together simmer pots, let me know in the comments below. those cookbooks as decorations but more than I use them for decoration I actually cook from them often if you guys do not have any of Joanna Gaines's cookbooks you must get them if for nothing else but her baking recipes you will not be disappointed everything that I've made that is in one of her cookbooks has turned out wonderfully now I'm just taking this velvet deep forest hunter green ribbon and I'm going to tie it around this amber glass jar that I typically keep over there and I'm going to put together a sort of arrangement in that jar.
started out with everything kind of sitting on top of these stacked books, but I just couldn't make that work for me this year. So I messed around with it, messed around with it, and I finally think I came up with the perfect solution. there this just felt right and I love how it turned out so pretty and whimsically perfect perfect for my kitchen If you've not seen it before you need to go check out my short where I clean my sink with this soft scrub cleaner with bleach it is wonderful it's it's literally like magic the first little squirt of the cleaner in the sink actually lifts up some of the stains and stuff my sink is a cast iron sink that is porcelain coated and it makes it look brand new every time it's so, so great. By far the best sink cleaner I have ever used. I'll try to link that short in the description box below. A lot of times when I'm decorating for a holiday season, and I know that it's not going to be out for a really, really long time. Although, yes, my Christmas decorations are out a lot longer than most people's because I just love the holiday season. I don't take down all of my old decorations. I will just set up in front of my regular everyday decor. That way that I don't forget anything or have to go looking for something later whenever I'm ready to take my Christmas stuff down. Okay, on over to my bar. I've already picked up most everything. I'm just gonna wipe it down and then I'm gonna get to decorating right over here. I use Ziploc bags to separate a lot of my Christmas decor out and so it doesn't all get scrambled up in whenever I'm packing it away and stuff. And so I actually reuse those. This is one of my favorite little centerpieces that I put together. I actually put it together a couple videos back. You guys kind of seen that. That little red truck that you see there, it is wooden. Um, one of my uncles actually carved that and um, then one of my aunts painted it. And it's just a little wooden truck that I found when we moved in here. And I just kept it and I use it every year. I absolutely love it. Thank you. 
you'll watch carefully in the background, you'll see my little Elsa right there. Isn't she so cute? Hannah was actually jerking her out of the video. She didn't want her to be in a dinner costume. They were dressed up. Well, Hannah wasn't dressed up, but Jana was dressed up, and she was just being a queen. So excited for these. Did you see those bells right there? Aren't they beautiful? I found them at TJ Maxx. They're actually Martha Stewart bells, and I think I paid like $12 for them. I'm going to hang them on my front door, and I'm so very excited about it. I haven't decided yet or not if I'm going to put a wreath behind them and then hang the bells or just hang the bells. I'm not quite sure. As always, my favorite part of any Clean With Me video, my Tenko. I absolutely love my Tenko i 42 It is wonderful. They have a new one out, and Amy Darley did a review on it, and I really, really, really want it. Apparently, it's like super smart, and it can sense how much dirt's on your floor, which mom would be like, holy cow, girl, you're dirty. My floors are always so gross three dogs, two kids. It's just, that's the way life is for me. I can't remember if she said it was a five or not. I'm going to go back and look and see, but I am definitely going to be looking into that for myself. Okay, you guys, that about does it. Here's a good look at my kitchen after it's all been decorated and cleaned. Thanks so much for stopping by and for being with me today while I reset my kitchen and got it all ready for Christmas. There's a sneak peek of my sourdough bread right there on my stove. Do you guys wanna look at that? It's so pretty. Anyways, I appreciate all of you that come and follow me on YouTube and that watch my videos and all the content that I create. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks, you guys. Have a great weekend and God bless.